But first, in North Carolina, a former North Carolina congressman caught in the growing Me Too movement. Thanks for staying with NBC Charlotte. I'm Brooke Katz. And I'm Fred Shropshire. Mel Watt left the House for the Federal Housing Finance Agency, where a staffer accuses him of sexual harassment. She claims when he tried to discuss her salary and career, he made inappropriate sexual advances. This week, the accuser filed a $1 million lawsuit against the Federal Housing Finance Agency, which is the agency Watt oversees. New tonight Tonight, we've learned the woman secretly recorded his sexual advances, and our Defenders team has a copy of that audio. The Defenders' Nathan Morabito live tonight with our top story. And Nathan, what's the latest on this investigation? So the woman's attorney tells us Mel Watt is actually the subject of two investigations, one of them ongoing, both related to the same employee. Her name is Simone Grimes, and this is the lawsuit she filed, specifically accusing Director Watt of sexually harassing her and in the process, standing in the way of pay equity. I think you're gorgeous. Simone Grimes says those are Mel Watt's words. But I don't make agency decisions based on who's gorgeous and who's not. Captured during a meeting at his house in 2016. I'm guilty of having an attraction to you, that is true. Grimes says the Federal Housing Finance Agency director suggested the meeting knowing he had final say over her salary, a point of contention after Grimes took on an additional role and job duties. I'm comfortable with uh, drawing the line. The recording comes as the woman filed a lawsuit Monday in federal court, saying when she wanted to secure pay equity, her supervisors referred her to the director. Her attorney talked with us over Skype. And then Director Watt would circle back to her to talk to her ostensibly about the pay parity issue and would instead turn it into opportunities for him to sexually harass her. The lawsuit continues saying after she compared her situation to that of a male coworker last year, Watt told her, you didn't promise me anything and I didn't promise you anything. I was furious but furious that it's 2018, she's bright, she's educated, competent, more than qualified for the jobs at issue, and that this is what she has been putting up with. Just last month, Politico reported Watt questioned the employee about a tattoo on her ankle, asking if I kissed that one, would it lead to more? Told her there's an attraction here I think needs to be explored and asked why you've rejected my advances. Appointed by President Obama in 2014, Watt continues to defend himself, saying in a statement, the selective leaks related to this matter are obviously intended to embarrass or to lead to an unfounded or political conclusion. I am confident that the investigation currently in progress will confirm that I have not done anything contrary to law. We reached out to one of Mel Watt's former congressional staffers here in Charlotte. That person told us after more than a decade of working alongside the then congressman, the staffer not once witnessed or heard anything like this woman is alleging. Live tonight, Nathan Morbido for NBC Charlotte. Nathan, thank you. In addition to $1 million back pay and lost benefits, the woman is demanding the federal agency stop paying women less than men for equal work.